Cliffside in San Clemente continues to crumble tonight, more than a day after it started sliding, forcing people out of their homes. KCAL News Orange County reporter Michelle Sheely with the latest tonight. At the news conference, San Clemente Mayor Chris Duncan told evacuated residents who were here in the crowd that he feels terrible for them and that safety is the number one concern. Several of those people came back to their homes here on Buena Vista to move more belongings out. The authorities allowed this for one hour this afternoon. Four properties on the bluff have been red tagged. The patios behind two of them have disappeared. The mayor says that it will be weeks before people can move back in because the structures and the hillside are so unstable. He is very concerned about rain that is coming and how it could make a bad situation even worse. There are 20 to 30 people who have been evacuated. Many of them need help now with housing. And emotionally, how are you holding up? I mean, <sighs> not good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard, you know. It's like I, I'm trying to just look at it and say, you know, God's got a plan, you know, it might not be mine, but you know, things happen for a reason and I'm trying to pull my faith together and and you know, lean on lean on it and say, you know what, maybe there's something better. This is going to be a longer term process. I think everyone should understand. We have a dynamic situation here. We have another rainstorm coming. The the ground is continuing to move. So these structures are still in peril and from a city's perspective, again, safety first, so we're going to make sure that that everything's set before we give the go ahead for folks to come back in. The San Clemente mayor told me that he's most concerned about the apartment building you see here with the red tile roof. It is literally on the edge of the cliff. The land is sloughing away next door and next door to that, and he says it is migrating toward that structure. In San Clemente, Michelle Geely, KCAL News.